Today's topic is virginity testing. Virginity testing is a practice done to try to know whether a girl has had sexual intercourse before or not. In some cultures, virginity testing is done before marriage to know if the girl is a virgin or not, and in some countries, it is done to try and prevent the spreading of STIs. It is also done in the evaluation of rape victims. However, it is not an accurate indication of rape. Virginity testing is usually done by inspecting the hymen to determine if it is still intact or not. The hymen is a thin tissue that covers the vaginal opening, but the problem here is that the hymen may be partially or completely torn in individuals who did not have sexual intercourse before. This may happen from riding horses, for example, or even from simple gradual tissue thinning. So, checking the hymen in virginity testing is not an accurate or a reliable indication of whether a girl has had sexual intercourse before or not. The problem with virginity testing is the harmful physical and psychological effects it can cause. The physical effects include bleeding and infection, and the tests are usually done on many girls at one time and performed by untrained doctors or sometimes normal individuals with no hygiene practices in place. So, for example, they may use the same gloves for multiple tests on many girls, which can increase the risk of transmitting HIV and other STIs. The psychological effects, on the other hand, include the girl feeling violated, anxiety, feeling of guilt, panic, and loss of self-esteem. Also, the test can have some long-term effects like worsened self and body image, feelings of rejection, isolation, depression, and in some cases, suicidal thoughts. In some cultures, failing a virginity test means that the girl and her family are shamed and thought of as dishonest, so the girl who failed the test may be punished by being beaten, sexually assaulted, or sometimes even murdered by her male relatives. Other than the male relatives, in some countries, the girl who fails the virginity test may sometimes be punished by jail. So despite all these harmful physical and psychological effects, and also not being an accurate indication, it is still practiced in many countries like the United States, Brazil, Libya, Malawi, Iraq, Iran, India, Turkey, the United Kingdom, Egypt, Canada, Spain, and South Africa. So, the World Health Organization released a statement about the test in 2018, stating that it is unscientific, unreliable, and violates a woman's human rights, and leaves harmful short-term and long-term effects. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.